your uh, task is to, to kill death. Oh, well, to kill aging. You know, I don't work on stopping people from being hit by trucks. And so, yeah. right, so I'm really only working on one cause of death. Yeah. And also, I mean, what I always like to emphasize is that I don't really even work on stopping people from dying of aging. I want to stop aging before people get sick in the first place. And of course, if you... Uh, most people die from being sick. So yeah. longevity is a side effect of health. Yes. And I'm just, trying to, I'm just doing regular medicine oh, as far as I'm concerned. That's right. That's right. And uh, don't you think that... that uh, I mean, uh, do you think that, that uh, within yourself, when you are with yourself and in uh, solitude, Do you feel that you are attacked by something that you are not able to deal with it? Or no, to... I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I, have, I, I, I feel very... Well, first of all, I feel very much at peace with how I'm going about this whole thing, how I'm going about my life. But also I feel very privileged at having succeeded as much as I already have. Of course, I know that there is still a lot to do, but I feel very content about how things are. I don't really get any kind of, Good. you know, stress or angst about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there is uh, no unhappiness within yourself, some uh, no. attacks or really no. of sadness or, uh, you know, something, you know, fear or, you know, so, doubts or something like this. A know? lot of people say, you know, how do I get into this field? And they assume that there must have been some, you know, my mother or whatever who died and, um, you know, that spurred me. And a lot of people who are in this field, that is the kind of story that they have. But for me, it wasn't like that at all. Yeah. For me, I mean, yes, I lost my mother from, you know, she died of old age. But um, what drove me into this field was the more general humanitarian challenge, you know, that, you know, aging causes far more suffering than anything yeah. else. And I just knew that I wanted to try to fix that. Now, you know, I can be sad that it's not going faster, you know, I want to save as many lives as possible, and so on. Yeah. But I, equally, I know that there are limitations, we just don't know how difficult the problem is, so we don't know how long it's going to take. All I know is that I'm doing the right thing by doing the best I can to shorten the amount of time. I can say that you are a person that is able, is able to, to transform, you know, some, some inner Uh, difficulties or some, uh, some, or you know, I mean, uh, are you aware of this? Not really. Some, you know. I mean, I guess one thing for me is I like to understand why I think what I think. But the thing is, the, 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 that only, for, only to a certain point. You know, so, for example, I want to defeat aging, and I want to understand why I want to defeat aging. The answer is, I want to reduce suffering. You could ask the next question, you could say, well, why do I want to reduce people's suffering? And to that question, I really don't have an answer. It's mm. just how I am. And, um, I, and I'm, I don't feel that I need to have an answer to that question. I'm okay with just, it, it's me. That's and, right, yeah. that's right. It's different for me because, because I be, really believe that, that the only death that exists is within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then, then uh, physical death is uh, is uh, is uh, just uh, something that will be uh, defeated, if you want to say so, but it will be uh, cancelled if we die less and we stop dying within. It would certainly is, help. Certainly, yeah. the less stress that somebody. I feel. The fact that I'm, I'm very much at peace in myself, that I'm living the life I want to live, um, I, it means that I have a low stress level, and that is good for my physical health as well. In fact, um, this is an interesting thing. So, of course, some people live exceptionally long, 100 years or more, and people who want to understand aging, the natural thing to do is they study those people. They say, okay, what's special about these people? What do they have in common? And the answer is hardly anything. You know, some of them smoke. Some of them get overweight, you know. There's really no generalization except one. There's one generalization about centenarians. Nothing bothers them. They just... That's right. They don't necessarily have particularly low stress lives. Yeah. But they do have, when they get into a stressful situation, they know how to manage that stress really well. So it's that kind of thing. This is a beautiful. Yeah.